of you can say that even though 2020 was such a bad year, that God is still good. Let's give him some praise this morning. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good. From every nation and time, from generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. We worship you. This morning, Lord, you are good and your mercy enduring forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy enduring forever. One more time, Lord, you are good and your mercy enduring forever. People from every nation and tongue. From generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. We worship you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. time and all the time you are good you are good all the time and all the time you are good you are good all the time and all the time you are good you are good all the time and all the time you are good Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. People are good and your mercy People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. You are good all the time and all the time. You are good, you are good, all the time, and all the time, you are good, you are good, all the time, and all the time, you are, one more time, you are good, all the time, and all the time, you are good, and we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. We worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm so glad this morning that even when times are bad, we still serve a good God. I'm glad that in my lowest valley, I can still say God is good. And He's been good to me this morning. I don't know about you, but I have so much, so much to worship Him for this morning. I'm glad that He's a God of mercy and grace. Thank you, Lord. Some are known for great authority With kingdoms as far as eyes can see In royal robes they rule the thrones Waging war to overcome the weak and they call it victory but my king is known by mercy thank you lord my king is known by grace for the hope in his name and the power that saves and my king known by the cross. Thank you, Lord. And my King is known by an empty grave. Oh, and all that He does. My King is known by Even now, rejected and thorns upon his brow. What kind of king would leave his throne to make my sin and shame his own? Yet he gave his life for me. He gave his life for me cause my king is known by mercy thank you lord oh my king is known by grace for the hope in his name and that power that saves my king is known by cross and my king is known by an empty grave oh and all that he does my king is known by his love that welcomes everyone as his daughters and his sons and no one is ever turned My King is known. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Aren't you glad for that mercy? Thank you, Lord. By grace. For the hope in His name and that power that saves. My King is known by the cross. Oh, and my King is known by that empty grave. Oh, and all that He does, my King is known by His love that welcomes everyone as His daughters and His sons, and no one is ever turned. known by mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And my King
king is known by grace for the hope in his name and the power that saves my king is known by the cross my king is known by an empty grave oh and all that he does my king is known by love his amazing love his amazing My king is known by love. Thank you, Lord. 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 Amazing love. How can it be? And you, my king, would die for me amazing love I know it's true it's my joy to honor you in all I do I honor my joy to honor you in all I do I honor you Jesus, Jesus, Jesus can we just take a few minutes this morning to give him the the honor that he deserves. You know, Revelations 4 and 8 said that the four beasts with the six wings, day and night, never ending, they sing, holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty. And we need to give him a little bit of time this morning and let's just give him the glory that he deserves. Holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you holy 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 is the lord god almighty who was and is and is to come thank you lord with all creation i sing praise to the king of kings you Everything, and I will adore you. Holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is. Can you imagine day and night just giving him that honor? Holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty. Who was and is and is 
to come with all creation I sing praise to the King of Kings you are my everything and I will adore you holy holy to come with all creation I sing praise to the King of Kings you are my everything and I will adore you holy 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 the Lord God almighty who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of Kings. You are my everything and I will adore you. One more time. Holy, holy, holy the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. The Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Holy, holy. adore you holy 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 the lord god almighty who was and is and is to come holy Lord, thank you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy. Lord, we lift our praise to you this morning. Holy, 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 holy. The Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. 
This is how I, our worship is how we fight our battles. Fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Thank you, Lord. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. I don't know what you're going through this morning. But it may look like you're surrounded on all sides. But I'm here to tell you that we're covered under His wings. We're surrounded under His wings this morning. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Thank you, Lord. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I... This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. Thank you, Lord. Fight my battles. This is how I. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. 
This is how I It may look like I'm surrounded But I'm surrounded by you Thank you, Lord It may look like I'm surrounded But I'm surrounded by you It may look like I'm surrounded But I'm surrounded by you it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. It may look like we're surrounded, but we're surrounded by you. It may look like we're surrounded, but we're surrounded by you. Thank you, Lord. It may look like we're surrounded, but we're surrounded by you. It may look like we're surrounded. I'm glad this morning that when I feel like the enemy has me surrounded, all I got to do is get down on my knees and begin to call on the name of Jesus. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we worship you this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, 
that I can't control. I want more of you, God. How many of you are saying that this year? I think this year more than ever, we need more of God. We need to get our focus on Him and asking for more of Him. More of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't. I want more. I want more. There's no place I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be than here in your love, here in your love. There's no place I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be than here in your love, here in your love. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, this morning I want him to set that fire in me. You know, the words say, set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, I can't control. And you know, when he sets that fire in you, people are going to be able to see that fire because it's got to come out some way. And I want more of God this morning. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Set a fire. just ended a new year. I don't know about you, but 2020 about took my fire out with what was going on. But God. Amen. But God. There was times last year where people counted me out. Amen. But God. There was times last year that you were going to give up. But God. He showed up. He fought your battles. He was with you the whole time. There was times that you thought you were going down for the last time. But God, I don't know about you. I just want to thank him for a couple of things. One, for waking me up. Listen, let me talk to somebody. He woke you up. He's got a plan for you. He's got a purpose for you. He's got a destiny for you. He ain't done with you yet. You might have went down. You might have want to give up. But he ain't done with you yet. He woke you up. He started you on your way. He made a reasonable portion for you. That's enough to thank him for. I'm so thankful. I made it another year. I'm so thankful that the Lord's given me another chance. Another year to get it right. Thank you, Lord. That's what I'm thinking. Amen. I don't know you about you, but I'm more determined than ever. This is the, the year. This is the year. We've made it. You've carried this far. You've made it this far. Listen, I don't know Thank about you. you. It was a pretty bad year. But you look in the Bible. When all the Christians were being persecuted, people, they, they, they were being persecuted, they were being put to death. And we think it's bad. But we ain't seen nothing yet. But the church... Amen has prevailed. You have prevailed. Those lonely nights when you cried and said, Lord, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what tomorrow holds. But Lord, I'm giving it to you. And he made it for you. He made a way for you. Thank you, Lord. That grace and mercy. God's grace and mercy. Make that fire. But I'm excited about what the Lord is going to Amen. do. Amen. It's kind of like 
you've been beat up. You've been beat up. And you just pick up the pieces. And you're limping, but you're still making a way. It feels like we went about a 10 rounds with Mike Tyson this year. But we have made it this year. We have made it. I might have some bruises and scars. But I know. I look at myself. I made it this far. I might have went through a couple valleys. But I'm changing mountaintops. I'm coming up on the mountain. I listen, we've been climbing the rough side of the mountain, and now we're getting to the top of it. And we're going to get to the top of it amen, and look back amen. and say, we've made it. We've made it. That's what I love about valleys. You're changing mountaintops. 2020 was a bad year. Let's just call it what it is. Limitations. Verse 22, it says, God's mercies renew every day. Amen. It renews every day. Thank you, Lord. We have new mercies, Thank a you, new Lord. grace. 2021, new mercy, new grace. There's a new you Thank that's you, being formed. There's a new you being formed. It's a new year. It's a new year. This morning, I come to you heavy-hearted, but also excited. I've been praying and seeking the Lord how what to bring. And people have been, you know, they've been putting up Second Corinthians five seventeen, a new creature in Christ. Behold, all things are new. But every time I turn and every time I thought and sought the Lord, he kept taking me to Colossians. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. If you're a Bible reader and you find yourself in Colossians, that's like, that's like coming up to a big turkey leg full of meat. There ain't much bone. There's a lot of bone there, but there's a lot of meat to this. And sometimes I think we want to dodge certain things of the Bible because it's too much to handle. Amen. Amen. I, don't, I don't know about you. Hanging out in Proverbs, that's a lot of meat. You hang out in some of these books that Paul's talking to. So this morning, I'm going to give you some meat this morning. Can, can, can you handle that this morning? I'm going to give you something to hold on to this morning. I'm going to give you something to grab on to for the new year. See, in the, in the new year, most of us have made New Year's resolutions. Who's already made that? Who's already made New Year's resolutions? Some people don't because they know they ain't going to make it. And I, I get that. But I made a New Year's resolution. I want more of the Lord. I want to pray to Him more. I want to seek His face more. I want to listen to Him more. I want to be more obedient to what He has to say. I want I want to have a sexual prayer life that has legs to it. I want to see lost saved. I want to hear from the Holy Ghost. I want Amen. I just want more. Those who thirst and hunger after His righteousness shall be filled. Ain't no if, ands, or buts. Shall. I'm going to be a shall. I want more of the Lord. And when you want more of the Lord, you got to dig into the Word. So this morning, if you got your Bibles, you keep playing. I like that. I like that. If this morning you have your Bibles, go to Colossians 3. Colossians 3. Now, Colossians don't have that many chapters. The best way to find Colossians, go to New Testament. Go to Matthew. Take a right. Keep going. I mean, keep going. You're almost in the back of the book. Colossians. Y'all, it's fun. Take your time. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a book of the Bible. We really don't hang out too much. When you're there, say amen. If you're not, say oh my. Colossians. I love this book. It's full of meat. Y'all are gonna have to contain me this morning. I know I say it all the time, but I am excited. 
I'm excited to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. I'm Amen. excited. I've already felt the presence. I'm, I'm excited of what's about to happen. If you're there, please stand for the reading of the word. Colossians 3, I'm going to be verse, reading verses 12 through 17. Uh, just reading this, you're going to have to contain me. Colossians 3, 12 through 17. Here it is. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. Let that sink in. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And right here. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also ye are called in one body, and ye be thankful. And let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And right here, this is where I want to land this plane here in a little bit. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, Amen. do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving him thanks to God and the Father by him. Let's pray. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray you anoint these lips of clay. Father, I pray this word will pierce our ears and our knowledge, and we will depart to serve you in a better capacity. But Father, right now, I pray the Holy Ghost will speak through me, and every word will come out of my mouth, and mouth will be ordained by you. And Father, I ask these prayers up to you in Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen. What I love about this, if I had to title this message, it would be a new year, a new me. Amen. Amen. And a sub part of that, what are you wearing? Mm. What are you wearing? No, I'm not going to preach on clothesline. I'm not going to preach on masks. So. <laughs> right here, Paul. Paul is writing to the church of Colossians. He's in prison. Paul's writing to a church in prison. And the church of Colossians is a small congregation. It's not a mega church. It's not, it's not a lot of people. It's just a handful of people. He's writing to the small congregation. And see, this is what I love about this uh, Colossians. It plays in what's going on in the world today. The Colossian church, they're in severe legalism. And they were in severe bondage. What are you talking about? See, they were worshiping angels. And they were worshiping the knowledge of man. That's what's going on in today's world. We will worship anything but the true living God. Amen. Well, won't we? We will worship anything. Yeah. We will worship a man, a fleshy man that walks on this earth that's not of God. And we, 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 we want to put all this hope in one person. We want to put hope in a lot of people who give a word. There's a difference between prophecy and words of wisdom. Amen. There's a difference. Amen. There's a difference to that. And what we want to do when someone gives us a word, oh, 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 they're the real deal. Listen, I don't know about you, but I don't, if you watch the news, if you read, if you go on YouTube, it seems like, I'm going to go on a little tangent here. I'm going to make some people mad. But it seems like God's talking more to the sidewalk prophets than he did to the Old Testament prophets. <laughs> Amen. We got prophets coming out of the woodwork. Amen. But we're, we're, then what happens is people are hanging on to this word. But you got to know what you're listening to. Amen. Amen. I'm going to get there. Amen. But see, now, if you read through Colossians, it's full of, of meat. If you read through it, it tells us how to pray. It tells us how we should walk. Amen. And it tells us how we should talk. But this morning, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you this Christian walk this year. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? I'm about to get there. Point number one, in this new year, we need to put on the character of Jesus. Amen. Listen, if we're saved, if we're saved, we're supposed to be a Christian, Christ-like. Amen. Uh, but Amen. If you look around, I don't know. 
Gandhi said it best. Show me a Christian, I'll be one. That's the problem we're running into in today's world. Uh -huh. We claim to be saved, but we're not even doing anything that looks like Jesus. Amen. Or even acts like Jesus. And we wonder why no one wants to be saved. I gotta, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, encourage you. I want you to witness to somebody this, this coming year. And I want you to hear what they have to say. Because... I'll stop right there. But that's why I know. Because when you say, hey, let me tell you about this man, Jesus. <laughs> and they say, oh, you're a Christian? Oh, and listen, everybody's pretty much got Facebook. And people who claim to be a Christian, some of their posts and some of their actions, it makes you think likewise. And you wonder why it's hard to reach people. Amen. Amen. Churches are in severe bondage and legalism. You gotta look a certain way. You gotta act a certain way. And listen, if you if you gotta if you have to look a certain way to come to a church, that means it's like putting a, like putting cologne on on a mummy. Listen, if you're dead on the inside, you're gonna be dead on the outside. But if you're clean on the inside, you're gonna look it, walk it, talk it. Amen. Amen. I'm coming to you right here. Right here, the first part. Paul is telling us to put on some values of Jesus. Amen. And right here, he said, bowels of mercy. I don't know about you. I'm a pretty simple man. I don't know what bowels of mercy is. But I looked it up. And in Hebrew, it says, bowel means seat of the tender affections. Kindness. Uh -huh. Benevolence. Here, here's a word we don't use. Compassion. Uh -huh. Bowels, that's the bowels. And then mercies, we know what mercy is. Compassion, pity, uh, mercies. Now, meaning, if in the meaning bowels in which compassion resides. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna break it down to you simpler. A heart of compassion. Amen. If you have the right heart, you're gonna have a heart Amen. of compassion. Paul's saying if you're saved, you're gonna have to have this. You're gonna have some compassion Amen. in you. See, and then our problem is listen, I don't agree with the lifestyle that you're living, but I'm gonna love you anyway. Amen. That's the Amen. heart of compassion. I, I love you in spite Amen. of how you act. Amen. I love you in spite of how you talk. Amen. I love you in spite of how you conduct yourself. Amen. I love you in spite of how you live. Uh -huh. I love you. I don't care who you hang out with. I'm going to love you anyway. Amen. See, Amen. listen, your spiritual status don't mean nothing to me. I'm going to love you regardless. Amen. Listen, your political affiliation don't mean nothing. I'm going to love you Amen. because Amen. I have bowels of Thank mercy. You, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We're loving people on condition. Uh -huh. Amen. You got to look like me. You got to act like me. You gotta live like me. But that's not it. Bowels of mercies. We have to have compassion on our fellow man. Amen. We have to have compassion on our fellow neighbor, Amen. on our brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I'm getting there. It's a whole laundry list. If that hurts you, it's gonna hurt more. And right here, kindness. It says right here, bowels of mercy and kindness. What's kindness? Gentleness. Mm. A warmth. Concern. Thoughtfulness. Oh, here's that word again. <laughs> Compassion. Uh -huh. And you see, we have, if we claim to be saved, these values, these virtues are going to, it's going to show out. Amen. 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 If you have it, it's going to show out. Someone's going to say there's something different about them. There's something different. And right here, this is, we're going to get to the state of mind. We have a state of heart. Now we have a state of mind. Some of our minds are jacked up two ways from Sunday. Humility. We have to be humble. We have to be humble. What does that mean? To modest, to be modest, to, to have the low view. When you walk into the room, it's not all about you. Amen. Amen. When you're doing something, it's not all about you. Amen. See, the one thing that disturbs me right now, you, you watch, you see on the news, they show stories of COVID, of COVID stories. But everybody's like, me too, me too. Why don't you just have compassion on somebody that's going uh -huh. through something? Amen. Instead of making it look like making it all about you. Amen. Our problem Amen. is we want it about us. I'm getting there about church folk. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But we have to have 
the most we have to be submissive. See, to, to, to lead, you have to serve. Uh-huh. Amen. Uh, Amen. A lot of people think, well, I got this. I've got, uh, I, you know, I've got this. Uh, people call me pastor. People call me prophet so-and-so. People call me apostle so-and-so. People call me, oh, I'm the boss. But you, and how you lead is when you serve. Amen. Because when these people see that you're willing to serve, they're going to be willing to follow you. Amen. The problem is, you know, the, 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 you, you, we all have a job. Amen. We have a boss, that we know a boss ain't going to mop a floor, but he's going to want you to mop a floor. If you're in leadership, you mop a floor before you ask somebody else to mop a floor. Amen. Listen, Amen. if you want to be a pastor, you got to sit under a pastor. Amen. If you want to be a prophet, you got to sit under a prophet. Amen. Uh, so right here. But I want to tell, tell you a story. This is a powerful story. Booker T. Washington. I don't know. Y'all have heard of Booker T. Washington? Some yeah. of you. He was a renowned educator. Now, shortly after he took presidency of a Tuskegee Institute in Alabama, he's just become the president. So, Booker T. Washington is walking in an affluent neighborhood. And this lady, this lady, white lady, said, Hey, hey, sir, do you want to make some extra money? I need you to cut some wood for me. Now, Booker T. Washington, he knew his status. But Booker T. Washington said, yeah, I'd be more than happy. So he helps this lady. He cuts the wood. He stacks it. He comes into the house. And the young girl in the house recognizes who Booker T. Washington is. He just kind of, you know, don't, don't make a big scene. So the little girl told the lady, after the fact, do you know who that was? She says, no, that was Booker T. Washington. So the next day, that lady goes to Booker T. Washington's office, and she, she was embarrassed. She, she comes to Booker T. Washington and said, I'm so sorry, Mr. Washington, for how I treated you and how I, how I, how I acted. And Booker T. Washington, he said, occasionally I enjoy manual labor. Besides, it's always a delight to do something for a friend. So she shook his hand, and she said it would never happen again. Now, Booker T. Washington, he could have said, listen, lady, you better recognize who I am. Uh -huh. But he did it. He did it in meekness, and he was being just humble about it. That's what we have to do. I don't know about you. If you have the power, but you have to be able to restrain that. Uh -huh. You just can't say, hey, I'm the boss. Listen to me. I think Abraham Lincoln said it best. To test a man's character, you judge him by what he, how he acts when he is down. Uh -huh. Because a lot of us, we just get prideful. Right here. Now, this is how we should act when we're mistreated. Long-suffering. Mm -hmm. Long-suffering. That's patience. Mm -mm. Forbiddance. Slowness and anger. And then it says right here, bearing one another. Bearing with one another. I don't know about you. It's hard to bear some folks uh -huh. in life. Amen. Amen. There's some folks I, 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 I just can't bear with them. But I have to be long-suffering. And then we have to love. And it says right here at the end, if we don't have love, charity, none of this stuff makes it don't even work. Amen. we got to have a love. See, and without love, all these other things, they, they, they don't last. That they're, they're, not, they're not worth anything. Even Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Wow. You got to know your motives. And see, listen, together, together with these virtues, we should be walking with that. Wow. That's the character of Jesus. Now, if we would put on the character of Jesus, charity and love, if we claim to be a Christian, more people would be saved today. Amen. If we Amen. claim to have the character of Jesus, more people People would be attending the church Amen. today. Amen. If we claim to have the character of Jesus, more people would be volunteering at the church. Amen. If we claim to have the virtue of Jesus, there would be people wanting to know this Jesus that you Amen. love Amen. and you serve. If you claim to be saved and have the virtues of Jesus, we would be changing this world. Amen. 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 If we claim to have the virtues of Jesus, we would have joy, we would have peace, and listen, people will lead happier lives. And people will be sharing the gospel. Amen. Listen, if we claim to have the virtues of Jesus, put this in your spirit. There will be less church hurt. Amen. 
there will be less church splits. Amen. There will be less church politics. Amen. There will be less church fights. Uh -huh. There will be less divided churches. Amen. There will be less divorces. Amen. There will be less domestic Amen. abuse. There will be less abortions. And there will be less baby mama drama. <laughs> Amen. If we claim to have the virtues of Jesus. You're putting on and right here I love this verse 15 we have to have the peace of God and let the peace of God rule in your hearts huh. right here peace has to rule in our hearts mm -hmm. we have to have peace I don't know about you but when Jesus went to the cross he died for your sins but he also died to give you peace uh -huh. and understanding mm -hmm. see it I'm about to tear some people up. If we disrupt the peace of the body, the church, we disrupt the work of Jesus and what he did on the cross. Amen. Let that sink in. If we disrupt the word, the disrupt the peace of the body, the church, then we disrupt the work of Jesus, what he did on the cross for us. Uh, Y'all got quiet. Me too. We must delight to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. Ephesians says that. And right here, I want you to put this in your spirit too. I want you to look around. I want you to think about people that you know. Generally, where there is contention and strife, it is among members of the body who are not letting the peace of God rule in their hearts. Amen. Amen. Think about that. That's... that's that's the thing. We are not letting the peace of God in our hearts rule. And it's disrupting. There's contention and strife. Why do you think there's so much strife in the church? Because some of us, our hearts ain't right. We got to get our hearts right. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? And right here. Now, in peace, peace in the body begins with ruling in our hearts. We got to be 100% sold out. Amen. And I love this. <laughs> Love this. I want you to grab this. He said right here, Let the peace of God rule in your heart, and which also you are called in one body, and ye be thankful. Uh -huh. Hello. Ye be thankful. Amen. See, we need to have a mind set up, a thankful heart. Lord, I thank you for the church that I have. Amen. Lord, I thank you for the pastor that I have. He might be jacked Amen. up, but Amen. I love the pastor. Lord, I love the thank preaching. You, Lord. Lord, I love your word. Lord, Amen. I love your presence. Lord, I thank Amen. you for the programs at the church. Amen. Lord, I thank you for the salvation. Amen. I thank you for saving me. Lord, I thank you for these padded peace. Lord, I thank you. For just saving my soul. Lord, I thank you for the members. Lord, I thank you for the prayers that you are answering on my behalf. Lord, I want to thank you for saving my family members. Lord, I want to thank you for hearing me. Lord, I want to thank you for your Holy Ghost. Lord, I want to thank you for talking to me. Lord, I want to thank you for hearing my prayers. Lord, I want to thank you for making a way where there was no way. Lord, I want to thank you for healing my body. Lord, I want to thank you for the anointing on my life. Lord, I want to thank you for the purpose and destiny you have for me. Lord, I want to thank you for the Chagana glory that you put on me. Lord, I want to thank you for shining on me. Lord, I just want to thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We got to thank you. Jesus. You have a thankful heart, that's when the peace comes. Thank that's when your heart happens. That's when your mind changes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I want to thank you. Jesus. Have a heart of thanksgiving. Have a mind made up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The peace of God thank with you, thanksgiving. Thank you. We got to have it in our hearts. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That ain't the best part. I'm getting there. Thank you, and right Jesus. Here, Thank you, Jesus. The word of God. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly uh -huh. in all wisdom. Thank you, Jesus. Teaching and admonishing one another in song. 
and in hymns and spiritual songs. Sing with a grace in your hearts to the Lord. Amen. We gotta have the word of God in us. Thank we you. gotta let it dwell Thank you, in Lord. us. Thank you, Lord. Dwell in us richly. What are you Amen. talking about, Pastor? How do you let it dwell richly? What we need to do, we by the reading of the word and on our own time, not reading it on the screen on Sundays, or reading it in our own time. We got to learn, let it dwell in us by praying over uh -huh. the word. Father, I thank you for the word. Father, Amen. I pray the word will Amen. soak in me. Amen. Lord, I pray the word will convict me. Lord, I pray this word will thank lead you, me, thank guide you, me, and direct me. We got to pray over the word. You, Lord, Lord, show me what I've got to do. Lord, convert me. Lord, convict me with Amen. this word. Amen. Lord, open my spiritual eyes with your word. Amen. Lord, open Amen. my heart. Amen. Open my ears. Listen. How do you let it dwell? By going to Sunday school. How do you let it dwell? By listening to other saints of God. When they get up and testify. Amen. If God can do it for her, he can do it for me. Amen. Well, we have to let it dwell by reading gospel-related books, a.k.a. the Bible. We got to read. We got to read daily devotionals. We got to listen to praise and worship music. Amen. We ain't listen to hip hop. We ain't listen to country. We ain't listen to rock. We're listen to praise and worship Amen. music. Because Amen. garbage in, garbage out. Amen. Gospel in, gospel Amen. out. We Amen. gotta let that. And how we let it richly dwell by singing and praising you, and worshiping through the heart of a grace. And let's sing, uh -huh. singing Thank hymns. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Thank it is Lord. well with my soul. You, Great you, is thy faithfulness. You, I want to know a little more about my Lord. I feel like traveling alone. I feel Amen. no ways tired. Listen, Amen. then you got to let that stuff you, dwell in you. Thank James 122 said, be doers of the word, not hearers only. Amen. You got to do something. It's all up to you and nobody else. My mom and papo did. That's theirs. This is a you thing. Amen. There's a lot of people thinking they're going to heaven on mom and daddy's shoes. Mm -hmm. Mama and papo's shoes. It's all about you. Amen. What are you putting on? And right here. Right here. This is the best part. I love the Bible. Because it starts out with bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news. Then it ends up with good news. Amen. It ends up with good news. And right here, you're going to have to contain me. Verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Giving thanks to God and the Father by him. See, this verse sums it up right here. If, you're gonna, if you claim to be saved... We have to use the things. We need to say and do things in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We got to do things in the name of Jesus because it gives us authority. Uh -huh. We have the authority when we use the name of Jesus. Amen. There's Christians out here that uh, they, they, they don't have the authority because they're not using the name of Jesus. Amen. I see a lot of people, when, when, they, when they say a prayer say in your name. Whose name is that? Amen. That's the name of Jesus. Amen. We're not even putting the right postage <laughs> on our prayers Amen. when we're not doing things in the name of Jesus. See, it's very important on everything we do, we do it in the name of Jesus because it completes us. Amen. See, we, we, we fail. We can walk with Jesus. There's people that claim, I love Jesus, I love Jesus, but you're not using the authority right. of Jesus because if you love him, you wouldn't be acting the way you are acting that's right, that's because right. you're not operating in the authority. Listen, there are lost people that say Jesus. Uh -huh. There's people, lost people that know Jesus has power. Uh -huh. I dare you. I dare you to say in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. They don't want to hear that. 
They don't care if you say you're praying for them. They don't care if you're going to do but in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for a healing. And some people Amen. are like, I don't want to hear that. Listen, uh -huh. when I was lost, when I was lost, when I was backslidden, there was one name that had convicting power. Amen. There was one name. When I heard it, I started feeling weird because, listen, Jesus Amen. has the power of every. Listen, by the name of Jesus, you can send a thousand demons to flight. Amen. By the name Amen. of Jesus, you, he, he can give you healing. By the name of Jesus, Amen. he will save you. By the name of Jesus, Thank he will Lord. redeem you. By the name of Jesus, he will set you free. Amen. By the name of Jesus, he will sanctify you, fill you with the Holy Ghost. By the name of Jesus, you can lay the hands on the sick and they shall recover. In the name of Jesus, I can lay hands on myself. In the name of Jesus, I will live and not die. In the name of Jesus, I speak life. In the name of Jesus, I speak blessings. In the name of Jesus, I speak victory over death. In the name of Jesus, I speak over my enemies. In the name of Jesus, I can overcome my trials, my tribulations. In the name of Jesus, I will remove all my fear. In the name of Jesus, it will remove all the doubt that I have. In the name of Jesus, it will heal me. In the name of Jesus, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We can do things Thank you, Jesus. by the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That name has power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That name Hallelujah. will change the atmosphere. Amen. Amen. When you feel overwhelmed by the name of Jesus, he will send peace, Amen. comfort, Thank and understanding. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is power. Amen. There's something about that name, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Listen, when I Thank was lost Jesus. and undone, even backslidden, out of fellowship, that was one word I didn't want to hear because I knew what was about to happen. Amen, amen. We have to use the name of Jesus with authority. Mm -hmm. We're a child of God. Amen. We have that authority. Thank you, I've said this before. I don't know about you, but have you ever went into a meeting or you're about to go down somewhere you know it's not, it's, it's not going to go good? Have you messed up, us husbands? Have you messed up? And you know when I get home, this ain't going to be good, right? Or when you're at work, the boss calls you out of blue, needs you to come in. This ain't going to be good. But you have your mind made up. I'm winning this argument. You have your mind made up. I am going to overcome this. Why can't we have that same attitude with our life? Amen. Why can't we have that same attitude when the devil comes to me? Listen, you're going to have to ride on Amen. because I am accepting this in the name of Amen. Jesus. Why? 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 Why when he comes in, we kick him out. Get out of here in the name of Amen. Jesus. Get Amen. your little demons out of here. When he's on your family member, we use that authority. So we get mad at the kids when they act up. Why can't we get mad at the devil when he starts acting up with our kids? Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. We have to have the authority to say hit the bricks. Amen. So this morning, I want to ask in closing, what are you wearing? Are you wearing the virtue of the Lord? Do you have the peace in your heart? The peace in your mind. See, the problem we have, we always claim to wear the full armor of God. Huh? We always say, I'm going to put the full armor of God. But you know what's funny about the full armor of God? What's funny about putting on that? God don't mind. He don't mind you putting it on. Have it on what's your character behind that armor? There's people that's wearing the armor, but they don't have the right character. Look, there's people in the military. They're carrying guns to protect us, but what is their character? Let, 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 let me let this get home. There 
our people in authority that have the power, but they have the wrong character. Amen. Let that. There's people who are in power. They have all the tools, but they're using in the wrong character. some help here. I want to help you. In this new year, when you put on meekness, long-suffering, I've said this before, we're in this together. We're in this together. Whether you like it or you don't, we're in this together.
God's amazing grace. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pray for us right now. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that we will walk out of here with a new mindset. Father, I pray that we, we will put the virtue of you on. We claim to be saved. We claim to, to walk with you. I pray that we will show the fruits of your virtues. Father, I pray you clean, create in us a clean heart. Father, I pray when we depart, we will serve you in a better capacity. And Father, I pray that we will have a better, better patience, better meekness when we deal with our enemies, when we deal with our fellow neighbors that don't look like us, act like us. Father, I pray in this new year that your love will show throughout this world and lives will be changed by the examples that we live. Father, I pray you touch this country. Father, I pray you touch this city, this county. Father, I pray you touch this community. Father, I pray that you will make a way for ministry to touch this city and this community. Father, I pray that you will send the workers. Father, I pray you will send the people wanting to get the gospel out. Father, I pray that revival will start here at Cochrane Street and spread out. Father, I pray people will come from the north, south, and east and west, that they will come looking for a word. Father, I pray you send the drunks. Father, I pray you send the prostitutes. Father, I pray you send the lost ones. Father, I pray you send the broken ones. Father, I pray you just send the low, the down and outers that nobody wants. Father, I pray you send them here. And Father, I pray you will make a desire to where we will go out and get them. But Father, I just pray this new year we will put on the elect of you. And we will walk with the authority by the name of Jesus. And Father, I ask these prayers up to you in Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen. God 